Wherever Saturn sits in your chart, these 10 things happen. All right. So what does this mean? Now, where should you see your Saturn? Not in the Lagna chart, in the Bhava Chalit chart, where actually Saturn is sitting in that particular house. And the Lagna chart, you can see to see the sign, the zodiac sign, which shows the awareness. So for example, if you are Taurus Lagna and Saturn is in Taurus, so that means Saturn is well placed as per the sign, but it may not be in your first house because that's how the Bhav Chale chart works. So please check the placement of Saturn only in the Bhav Chale chart and also check the Lordship. So you need to see these three houses. So two houses that Saturn rules in the horoscope and also the house where Saturn is placed. All these three houses will undergo the flavor of Saturn, not just one house, not just where Saturn is placed, all right? So, wherever Saturn is placed and whichever houses Saturn is lording, there will be karmic influences. Now, what does this mean, karmic influences? This means there, what, so suppose the Saturn is indicating three houses, like for most of the people, and one of those houses is the seventh house. So, that means you have primary pending karma related to your marriage. Very simple. As simple as that. No, nothing very complicated. As simple as that. And suppose Saturn is, you know, lording your first house and, you know, sitting in your 10th house or whatever. Okay, so these three houses, you will have to put your maximum energy. They will not move unless you make them move. All right. <laughs> so... They won't move automatically and they will only move if you work to move them. <laughs> so, because these three houses, the chances are that you will be on the giving end. You may not be on the receiving end. Now, what does this mean? This means, suppose Saturn is in your seventh. So, it could happen that, you know, you are always giving in the marriage. It could happen. <laughs> not necessarily always, but most of the times, you know, or rather you could say, you know, if you try to quantify it into percentages, 51% you will be giving and 49% you will receive, okay. So, therefore, be prepared to give because you might have taken from somebody and now it's your time to give, all right. Number two, there will be delayed rewards, okay? The rewards will be there depending on, you know, uh, how Saturn is placed, how the horoscope is, you know, because people say Saturn de delays but never denies. I have a video on that where I have said Saturn may just delay sometimes or he may even deny, okay? So, irrespective of the fact he delays or denies, there will be de delayed rewards, okay? So, even if you get something, it will not be very quick. It will be very slow, sluggish, and it will be like, it will test your patience, okay? So, patience is crucial with Saturn, you know, so, so success may come late in life, okay? But when it comes, it will be long-lasting and enduring. And also, don't blindly say, oh, Saturn is in seven, so marriage will be delayed. No. What if after 25, the person is not getting Saturn, Antar or Mahadasha, okay? Saturn Dasha is coming somewhere at the age of 50 and Antar Dasha is coming when he or she is 35. So, then suppose uh, after 25 till 30, the person is running uh, Dashas of other planets and they are well placed. So, then there is no delay in marriage, okay? So, therefore, look at the overall chart. But if after 25, a person is running Saturn Mahadasha and Saturn is in the 7th. So, then marriage can also happen, but it will happen with some delays, okay? So, then you know uh, that the delayed rewards will come, but specifically centric to the Dasha, okay? So, don't ignore the Dasha. Number 3, you will need a lot of discipline and hard work. This is non-negotiable. So, you have to put efforts, okay? So, this will require perseverance, dedication, hard work. So, it could happen that suppose Saturn is in your 10th house, everybody has to apply to uh, 200 jobs to get an interview, you have to apply to 800. It could be four times, okay? That's what Saturn is. He's typical, he's typical Saturn. <laughs> okay, so, so therefore, uh, don't think that you can just, you know, sit and let things happen automatically, you know, uh, with Saturn. It will not happen. You have to, you have to not just make it happen, you have to you have to fight for it. You you have to be uh, you have to be brutal. Okay, 
you cannot just sit and do nothing. Forget about doing nothing. Even if you just do something, it will not work sometimes, okay? So Saturn in 10th, is it a great placement for career? Uh, well, yes and no. <laughs> if you like to work hard uh, and if you are a workaholic, then that's a great placement because you'll have a lot of rewards. But if you're lazy and you just want things to come your way, it's a terrible placement for you, okay? So it's very subjective and it depends on the overall chart and the nature of the person. But in general, you know, there is discipline and how hard work that's required. Now, number four, there could be restrictions and limitations, okay? So, suppose Saturn is in your you know, fourth house. So, there could be some issue with your mother or with some property that you buy or with some vehicle, you know, maybe you wanted to buy something bigger, you, know, you wanted to buy 3 BHK, <clears throat> but due to restriction, you can only buy 2 BHK, okay? Or you wanted to stay with your mother, but due to some reason you couldn't stay. Okay, so there is some restriction, there is limitation. So, reduce your expectation from these three houses. Otherwise, you will be very frustrated. Which means, you may get things, but there will be some, there will be a tinge of dissatisfaction. It will be there always. Okay, you will very rarely find somebody who has sat in a particular house, and we'll say, oh, I have got everything related to this house. You know, I have never had any problems and never ever ha did I have a nightmare. So, it is possible that you might have to leave certain things. Like, you know, you want to buy property and, you know, the court is, uh, the, sorry, no, the bank is not sanctioning the loan. You know, or your builder does something and uh, it, the matter is stuck in the court. Okay, so it could be either way. So there is some limitation, restriction and you have to make peace with it. Okay. <laughs> then the next is, there is uh, longevity and endurance that is required. So Saturn indicates potential for long-term success, but it has to come with patience and commitment and plan. So planning is essential. So if you don't plan, you are actually planning to fail. So, wherever Saturn is placed, you have to plan. You cannot just say, uh, okay, it will just happen. You know? So, for example, Saturn is, you know, whatever, in any house, it's in your ninth house. So, you cannot just sit and say, oh, yeah, you know, I'll do spiritual practices, you know, when the time is right, you know, this, that, blah, blah, blah. No, you have to go. You have to find, you have to try to find a guru. You have to go to spiritual communities. You have to read the scriptures. And, you know, and then, of course, when God decides the time is right, he will send you the Guru because you cannot find a Guru. You only can show your sincerity to God. But nonetheless, if Saturn is in a particular house, you have to deliberately make time for the things related to that house. You know, like ninth house, you have to you have to outwardly go and look for a spiritual association. Without that, it will not happen. Okay, same is with 10th house, 7th house, any house. Okay, Saturn in first house. You have to work on your health and your physique. Otherwise, if you just let it loose, it will go. So, you need to plan every day, you know. So, Saturn is in first house. I'll do this, 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 that, okay. I will do this exercise on this day. Alternate days, I'll do weight training, cardio, whatever. You have to plan. You have to plan diligently. Number six, you will learn humility through those houses. What is this? Saturn will humble you. A good Saturn will humble you. A bad Saturn will humiliate you. <laughs> That's the difference. But humility is non-negotiable with Saturn. So, if Saturn is in your seventh, all nodding the seventh, then boy, <laughs> be prepared to to hear missiles, you know, to, uh, what do you say, to shield the missiles from your spouse. <laughs> Why? Because that person is literally like Saturn. So, so suppose Saturn is in your seventh or ruling seven, uh, seven. So, which means either Saturn is in seventh or you are a Leo Lagna or a Capricorn, uh, Cancer ascendant, right? For Leo and Cancer, Saturn is the seventh lord, okay? Or anybody who has Saturn in seventh. Your husband or your wife will know your ins and outs. You cannot hide anything from them and then when they know you and when you boast when you come home you will know what is it like <laughs> so therefore you need to understand that wherever Saturn is influencing via placement or lordships 
do not boast related to that house. So, for example, if Saturn is associated with seven, don't boast about your marriage. Because if you do, your spouse will tell you, oh, really, uh, you're such a great husband, you're such a great wife, or, you know, are you such a great wife? Huh? So, they, they, will, they will know, and then they will say things, you know, which uh, you will not like to hear, all right? So, therefore, uh, be very careful before you uh, post uh, in social media, like, you know, Saturn associates with the tenth, you know, you are posting about your uh, promotion which you have got after you know seven eight years and then you know all your colleagues are laughing <laughs> okay so you you have to know what to do when and where and when not to do okay number seven there could be fear and anxiety okay so uh, wherever Saturn is associating there could be you might have anxiety, oh, will this happen? You know, Saturn in seven, the anxiety, will I get married? Will my marriage work? Will I get divorced? Will I have children? Whatever, okay? Yeah, there will be fear and anxiety because that's the nature of Saturn. And you might also have a tendency to speak lies related to that house. <clears throat> so Saturn in seven, you might have a tendency to cheat on your spouse or speak lies at least, okay? Uh, of course, I mean, cheating is also like uh, speaking lies only. There's no difference. But in general, you may not go and cheat with another member of the opposite sex, but you may, you know, like speak casual lies, okay? It, it is possible, okay? Because why Why are you lying? Because there is a, a particular fear that you are having, okay? Number eight, there is requirement of maturity and wisdom. So wherever Saturn is associating these three houses, you need to take guidance from a guru 99% of the times. Okay. So, you have to think long term. There, there, is, there is no shortcut. You you cannot think short, short term. So, for example, if Saturn is associating with 5th or 7th, you are going on uh, these, you know, like hookups, you know, sleeping, indulging sexually with random people. Oof. Wait when Saturn Dasha comes, you know, you will see it. I mean, I have seen people with Saturn associating with these three houses, uh, with these two houses, you know, five or seven, and uh, indulging in uh, dog or pig or cat-like behavior with other members of the opposite sex. And they have had it, they, they have, they, they have like, anyways, let's change the topic. <laughs> Number nine. Issues with authority. Now, which authority? Authority related to that house. So, Saturn in seven. Issues with your husband or wife. Saturn in ninth. You know, issues with your father. Tenth. Issues with your boss. Saturn lording fifth. Issues with your child. Okay. Now, why? Why do you always have issues with Saturn? Why? When you say, you know, I have issues with this person. What does it mean? It means there is, uh, there are. Uh, that there are things which you are not able to come to peace with. You know, there, there are certain things have not been clarified because there are things which you don't want to give up basically and uh, or that person doesn't want to give up. Okay, so there is no proper negotiation. It's like you tend to be in the extremes. Okay, so for example, if Saturn is in your uh, ninth, could be that, you know, you are not talking at all with your father because your father thinks, you know, he or she is like this or you think your father is like this. So, you need to come and do the negotiation. Otherwise, there's problem with that particular uh, person represented by how that house. Okay, so third house could be siblings. Okay, could be anybody. Second house, family. First house with yourself. <laughs> <clears throat> Last but not the least, some issue with the health and longevity of the personalities related to that house. So, for example, Saturn in seventh again. Could be uh, that, you know, your spouse is diseased or uh, wherever you go to a vacation to spend some nice time, you know, uh, somebody or the other is injured or, you know, there is some, yeah, so issue with the longevity of the marriage or the physical health of your spouse, okay? Fourth house could be your mother, ninth house father, you know, all the karkas uh, and all the houses which people they represent, okay? So, therefore, in short, these 10 things will be there to some extent at least depending on your chart. It could be in extreme or it could be very less. It could be negligible or it could be significant. Okay. 
but it will be there so understand these three houses and approach your saturn appropriately all right thank you so much please take care for personalized consultations please visit my website down below god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him irrespective of where your saturn is all right please take care jai sri ram